Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I would like to do is quick art in Inkscape drawing a classic car. So here we have kind of a model that I drew and so what I'm going to do is just move this to the side and show you how to ba I basically drew this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a square which is right here but it's really a rectangle. And that looks like about right. Now I selected off this tool, but now I'm going to select the node tool. And then we're going to come up to path, and then object to path. So this is the node tool. And the two that I work mostly with are um, make nodes symmetric and make nodes corner. So those are the primary two that I work with. Um, and so what we need to do, as you can see right now, we have one, two, we only have four nodes, so we have to make a bunch of more nodes. And when you look at the car over here, what you see is that this is actually one bottom piece, and then the top piece is, if, you, if you, I highlight it, you'll see, well, you can't see it very well, but it's a deformed circle, basically. So the first thing we want to do is add a node, and all you have to do to add a node is just double click. And you can see we've added a node. Now I'm going to come up here and you want to make sure your node is selected. And then I'm going to click the corner tool. And then I got to do that. And let's do that then. So there we go. So now what we want to do is kind of like is kind of basically make our flare. And then we want this to come around and up like that. So there's the first part. And then I'm going to just add another node here and and then click that and there we go and then that's the drop and then you have to kind of make another one like that to bring in the fill air and then you literally have to make another one just below it like that And as we start to shape the car, we'll, we'll change things. So then we're going to make another node here. And that'll bring in that. And then another node there for that. Another node there. And then one here. And one here. So if you like want to make a bulb, and that's what we're going to do. Oops, wrong one. So I want to click this one, and uh, control Z, control Z. Oops, that's okay. That one can go in. But I had two selected, so I want to just select the one. And so there's that. And let's take a look. Okay. So the other thing we need to do is we need to bring this up a little bit. And what I did is I can select a bunch of nodes at the same time. And then if you click and hold it down, you can see how we can crunch it up a bit. And what I want to do is just kind of pull these in. Like that. Now if you wanted to, you could make all of this rounded simply by clicking on the node and then clicking the symmetric tool and it will round it off, basically. So now I kind of have um, that done and what I want to do is pull this in a little bit and then this in slightly, like that. Now I may want to make this slightly bigger and even pull that in maybe. So I kind of have most of the chassis built here, except for the wheel wells, and those are fairly easy. It's just three nodes. One, 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 two, three. And so what we do is we pull this one up, hit that, pull it over. Whoops. Now what you probably want to do is do the corner tool. 
And then what that will do is allow us to pull this one differently. same. And uh, actually I'm going to pull this up a little bit to come in line with that. And again, then we would just do the same thing on the back. One, two, three, pull this up, click that, click that, and basically Oops. Okay, so there we have that part. And what I want to do is just kind of change the color on this so that it's just a better color. Let's go cherry red. And let's just do the outline. And let's just give the outline a, a little a larger stroke. There we go. Okay, and so we kind of have, we basically have our flare, although I think our flare could be a little more, maybe even a little more out. I don't know, you can adjust this as you want. Okay, but now what we have to do is we have to make our top part and so to do that, what I did is I simply used a circle. And you'll see what I do with the circle. So that's basically our circle. And we're going to do something with the node similar. So we have to go object to path. And what's nice about this is I can squeeze this up. OK. And then what I want to do is I want to make this inside as white. And I'm going to send this to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is, is simply make that larger. And then the simplest thing to do is to just do, whoops, let's get that back. And actually, we didn't want to do that. We want to duplicate that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make this smaller. And you'll see what happens here. Oh, well, actually. We want to do like that. And when we push it down one, you'll see what happens there. It basically makes it look like this is the back part of it. And then we'll bring this down ever so slightly like that. And then what we would want to do is basically make that a color. So we could, we could do that. And then all you need to do is just to add some lines. But um, I don't know if I like that. Well, for now it'll work. So then what we're going to do is we're going to just make another, maybe another small square, or even just a line. Whoops. Oh, I want that. And then that's another one here. Well, I would have to say that this is probably too down. Oh, 
There we go. Much better. Looking better. Looking better. Okay. So they're, they look close. This needs, I would fix this here if I was doing this for good, but I'm not. So it's just to demonstrate how you can use the node tool, tool to make and shift things around. So here we're just going to go down again and got to make this wheel slightly smaller so that it actually fits into the wheel well. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you could do like gray, and then you could do a stroke paint, and then a stroke style. That was huge, and you'll see what we could do here. And then we could just shrink this down. And then if you want to you skew it slightly to look like it's moving, control D, and you just put the same one in the back. And then I would probably adjust this. Now to do lights, lights are relatively easy. Um, all it is is a circle. Uh, like the headlight here is just a circle. And what you do is you make it yellow. Whoops. Make it yellow. Oops. I'm sorry. Let me get rid of that. There we go. And so you make that yellow, and then we just send it to the bottom. And now it's a light. Now to give it the glow, it's just basically um, and to make something glow like that would be ah, I keep forgetting to highlight it. Okay, and then what you do is just blur it. Okay, and if you wanted it to, to to be have it opaque, have the opacity. Okay, and then you just do the same thing with all your lights, place them. And so this is just a basic shape. You can put um, however you want on here, uh, how you want the lighting, if you want colors, you can see what I did over here. So you can mimic any of this kind of stuff. Um, it's just a matter of working it through. So you can see how you can use the node tool to basically shape just about anything into what you want, and that was the point of this. So I'm Michael Langdon, this is the uh, IamLearningEngineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency, and this is Quick Art in Inkscape, drawing a classic car. Have a great day.